Oh, I hope you got your fill, Bronco Nation, because it will be more than four months until you see the Broncos play in person again. And while today might have been a good indication of what next year's starting lineup could look like, a lot can certainly change between now and August 31st. Although junior Joe Southwick certainly looked good for that starting QB spot today, playing in front of over 17,000, a new school record for the spring game. Southwick commanded the first drive of the scrimmage, moving the chains well. He made smart throws. Here goes to Matt Miller. Drew Wright would cap the drive with an 11-yard touchdown run, and the offense took an early lead. Offense has never won the spring game when it's formatted like this, offense versus defense. Things got interesting later. Chris Potter getting set up for a double pass right here, but Demarcus Lawrence providing some pressure forces Potter into a poor throw that gets picked off by sophomore Jeremy Iwane. Tiptoes. Pete says Iwane's had a great spring camp. We talked about it earlier. Nick Patty had a great day. Feels pressure, creating space. He does both those things pretty well today. Here, the longest pass of the scrimmage, 35-yard touchdown to Troy Ware. The offense led by double digits, but defense would claw back into it. Grant Hendrick going to find an open Matt Miller, or at least he thought. Sophomore Blake Reno undercut the route. That's three points for the defense on the interception. And the D would lead by three in the final minute. Southwick Doe engineers a game-winning drive, finding Chris Potter for the touchdown from 18 yards out. For the first time ever, the offense beats the defense. They eat teriyaki and shower. Everybody else goes home. There's some good stuff, and it was you know, on third downs and those type of things at the very end. I think you want your quarterback to play well, and I think we had some younger guys in on defense, and so maybe that should have happened. I think they did good, you know, uh, especially when you get guys like Nick that come in and only here for a couple months and have to learn the system and get thrown right in the fire. I think they all did a really good job. All the quarterbacks, they, you know, they're back there, ice in their veins. I mean, they've been learning from Kellen. You know, Nick just getting here, he's obviously been watching Kellen and film, and you know, they're no, nothing gets in their head. You know, they get hit, they get right back up, they're ready for the next play. Drew Wright and redshirt freshman Philip Hogan got all the work at running back today. Peterson announced a season-ending ACL tear for number 38, Rafael Lambert. That's the second time on the same knee for him. DJ Harper was a healthy scratch today. As we mentioned earlier, Southwick got most of the quarterback work. He looked good. Chris Potter led the receivers with 39 yards. Geraldo Bulldevine and Troy Ware were also over 30 yards each. Redshirt freshman Darian Thompson led the D with six tackles. Transferred to Marcus Lawrence had five at the end. Jeremy Iwane and Blake Reno with the picks today.